Have you ever thought about how to make money with journals on Amazon KDP using Canva? In this video, I'm going to show you the complete process in Canva to create journals from scratch, how to design and format them for Amazon KDP. And finally, I will walk you through all the steps to upload your journal on Amazon KDP. So let's get started. To begin, we have to search for the type of journal that is actually selling. You don't want to invest your time creating creating a journal that is not going to sell. So it's better to research what is already working and get inspired to create our own. For this, we will have to search for niches where people is already making some money, but the competition is low, so we can stand out easily. There are many tools for this, but I use a tool called Katie Spy. If you're interested in perfect this process and get more sales, you can check out my Katie Spy tutorial, link in the description, where I explain how to find and profitable niches plus you can get a 65% discount with my special link so to make a research of the kind of journal that I want to create first of all I will go to Amazon and over here I'm just gonna go and start to type journal and then I will make it for women so then from here I can start to see some options that I can create intelligent change five minute journal gratitude journal positive journal we can see some prayer journal as well and I will see what else show up here as we can see for now the results for this keyword are 60,000 which is a lot but I will start to make a research to make that number smaller so this is a very nice option daily self-care journal for women so I'm just going to click over it. And as we can see, it's 20,000 results, which is less than we got before. And I can even go to my Katie Spy. And over here, I can evaluate how good this niche could be. So as we can see, we have some popularity and potential and some competition. So it's still a very good topic. We can see that the average monthly revenue is 4,000. And we can see that people in this niche is making even $60,000 a month. We can see 5,000, 2,000, 2,000. So it's a very good topic to start the creation of my journals. So I'm going to stick to this topic. Once we select the category we will be working with, we can move on into the side specifications of our journal. And we need to consider the following aspects. First of all, the journal idea, then the dimensions, the number of pages, the binding, the interior pages, and you have to remember that you must decide this before the creation of your book. You don't want to finish it and realize that you have the incorrect measurements. So if you don't want that to happen, you can go and use this page. I will leave the link in my description as well, so you can get your right measurements. So once I'm over here, I'm just going to go and scroll down to find the measurements that I need. I'm just going to go to the section of bleed, and over here we have to decide if we want our book with bleed or without bleed. Choosing no bleed, it only means that you will leave this space between the edges. And with bleed, it means that you don't have it. So we're just going to go to this section over here, and over here we have the exact measurements for page size with bleed and page size without bleed. Because I'm going to be creating it without bleed, I'm just going to follow these measurements over here. And I'm going to create it with these measurements, 6 times 9. Once I already decided measurements for my journal, I can move on into the designing of it. So now I can go back to my Canva homepage and over here I can click in create a design. Over this section, I'm just going to click in custom size and I'm just going to follow the measurements over here. 6 times 9. Over here, I also have to make sure that I leave it on inches. So I'm just going to change it and I can add 6 times 9. And I can click in create new design. Once our design is ready on Canva, we have to go and add our margins. And to do this, we're going to go back to our page and over here, I'm going to keep scrolling till I get the section of margins. Over here, I can see that the outside margins are 0 0.375. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to add those margins in my design. And to do this, I have to make sure that I have the rules and guides. And if you don't have it, you can go to the section of file and you have to click on settings. Over here, you have to go and click in show rules and guides and then it will appear over here so to add my first margin i have to go and, and pull from left to right till i get this line and now i can go and position it in the same number that i need it on here so i'm just gonna get closer and i'm gonna go back 375 and i'm just gonna go and adjust 75 so there we go, I have the first one, and now I can go and make exactly the same for my other size, 375. 
And once I have both sides, I can go and add some elements. I'm going to add this square shape so I can put it in the corner in this section. I'm just going to place it here and then I'm just going to adjust till it fits in this square. So once it's there, I can go and place it in my other corner and I can make exactly the same. Just pull my guide and then just place it in the same size and I can do the last one. So from here, pull the guy and then just place it over there. And there I already have my margins for my journal. Once everything is correctly set up, I can start with the designing of my journal. So first of all, I'm going to go and add some text. So I'm just going to go to the text section of Canva and over here I can go and add a text box. So over here I'm just going to add how I feel today and then I can go and add it into my design. So I can just go and just start to add some text for my journal. I can even go and click in here and then I can change the font of my journal. So I really like the 10 fonts. And I'm just going to go and grab this one. I feel it looks very nice. So this one really looks very cute. So I'm just going to start to add some text for my journal. So I can put today I'm grateful for and then I can add it over here. And I also have over here how I feel today. And this is just about giving some structure to your journal. It doesn't have to be like this but I'm just building up. But I'm just creating this journal based on my topic. And in this section, I want to add motivational quotes. If you don't have ones or you want to get some inspiration for these ones, you can also use the help of ChatGPT. So I'm just going to go to ChatGPT and over here, I'm just going to ask him, give me 20 motivational quotes. And then I'm just going to ask from women and I can go and just let it write it. And now with the help of ChatGPT, I can go and add my motivational quotes to my journal, to something like this. And I'm also gonna add from who is it? So Maya Angelou. And then I can go and add it over here. And there we go. I already have my first motivational quote. And once I'm done with the text, I can go and add some elements into these pages. So now we can go and add our lines. So first of all, I'm just going to go to the section of shapes. And then over here, I can go and add my line. On here, I can go and change the line weight. So I want it to be a bit more thin. So I'm just going to keep it on one. So something like this works very well. So I can go and just place it from here to here. And then just duplicate. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, something like this. And now I can select all of them. And now from here, I can click in the three dots and then I can go and align to center. And then I can go and just place it over here. And I can even make it bigger, the space between them. So something like this, I find that looks very nice. So over there looks very good. I can select them again because I like it, but I don't want them to be like right in the border. And I'm just going to place them in the middle there. So there we go. I already have my lines over here and I can even go control C, control V, or you can just duplicate and then just place them in the same spot. So I can go and just add the last ones can go and just make sure that everything is center. And I already have this section. I already have this section and I already have this one over here. Now I can go and add some elements to make this even more visually appealing. And to do this, I'm just going to go and just go to the section of elements. And from here, start to search for maybe like art to make this even more visually appealing. So I can go and add these ones over here, which look very nice. And I can just add them over here. And even this one also looks very cute. I really like it. So I'm just going to click over it and add it. So something like this over here and then just duplicate and then just make the other one over here. Or even I can go and make it more, more detail. I can just go and search for moods and see if I can find something. So I'm just going to go to the section of graphics and over here I can find some. So I can even go and add this one over here. I really like it. What I really like is that we can change the color of this one. So I can make them all of them black. Everything is more like black and white. So I'm just going to keep it in black and white. Also a good thing of keeping your journal in black and white is that it's going to cost less so the profit can be more. So if you want to make more profit from your journals, I would recommend that you keep everything on black and white. So that's it. I really like this a lot. So now I'm done. I really like this page of journal. I think it looks great and I think it's very visually appealing. 
Now I really like this design for my journal and the only thing that is remaining is generate the rest of my pages. So to do this I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna select this and I'm gonna control C control V five times and then I'm gonna make this Ctrl C, Ctrl V, then I have 10, 20, and then I'm just gonna keep doing till I finish all of my pages. And you can also go and change the quote one by one if you want, or you don't even need to add quotes. But now I already have my pages. I made 70 pages and you can keep adding more if you want to. Now I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna click close grid view and I have finished my journal. Once you have all of the pages, what we have to do is download this journal. And to do this, we're just gonna go to share and over here, I'm gonna click in download. Over here in file type, I have to change it to PDF to print. So I'm just gonna keep it as this one. And now I can click in download. Once you already finished the interior of your journal, you have to go and create the cover of this journal. I have already created a video on how to create a cover for a journal for Amazon KDP. So if you want to check it out, you can go and check out that video to learn how to make a cover on detail. Once you have the interior of your journal and your cover, you can move on into Amazon KDP and we can upload our journal. If you don't have an account of Amazon KDP, you can create it completely for free. Once on this page, I can click in create paperback. In this section, the first thing that we have to do is choose the language of the journal. So I'm just gonna put it on English. Now we can move on into add our book title. For this, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna grab my keyword, daily self-care journal for women. And then for your subtitle, you can use another keyword like this one, Women's Gratitude Daily Journaling for Self-Care. I like this one because it explains actually for what it is and for who it is. So it says women's and then explains what it is. If you cannot find a keyword that explains for who it is, you can just create it yourself. You can just add journal for women and even you can add the benefits of it. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. Now we can add a series, but it's an optional step. So I'm not gonna do it. And I'm also not gonna do the edition number. I can move on into the author. Over here, I said my name, Mariana Montoya. The contributors are also optional, so I'm not gonna add them. Now for my description, I can take a look of what other competitor is doing. So I can go and just open over here and we can click and see more. And as you can see, it's a very little description. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna check another one. So I'm just gonna create mine with the help of ChatGPT. So I'm just gonna use this prompt. Create a description of a book about with an AIDA formatting. I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna go and grab my keyword. So daily self-care journal for women and I'm just gonna paste it in this section. And there we go, we can go and let it write it. The AIDA format stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. This is very useful for marketing and sales for us to attract more buyers. So what we have to do now is just go and copy the text into our descriptions. Or you can only take the parts that are useful to you. You don't have to use it like all of it. Now for the publish right, I select I own the copywriting and I hold the necessary publishing rights. And for my primary audience, I have to go and reply this question. So for my case is no. For the primary marketplace, I just go and select amazon.com, but this will depend on your location. So I'm just gonna keep it on amazon.com. And then for my categories, I can click in choose category. Over here, I'm just gonna keep it on self-help. And over here, I'm just gonna go and grab dreams, creativity, we can even just add handwriting analysis and I'm just gonna keep these three categories and I'm just gonna click in save categories. This is a very important step because by the categories that you choose, Amazon will show your journal to the people that is interesting on these categories. Now, moving on into the keyword section, over here we have to go and generate our keywords. This is one of the most important steps because if you do this well, you can boost your sales a lot. So to do this, I'm just gonna go back and I can start to play around with this keyword. And to do this, I use two ways. The first way is for those ones that don't have Katie's by. So for this, I'm just going to go and play around with this keyword. So this is a, another keyword that we have, self-care journal for women. So I can go and just paste it over here. We can see what else appear. 
if I delete this one, journal for women, and then I just add self care over here, self love journal for women. This is another keyword, so we can go and grab this one as well. And you can keep doing this till you fill all your keywords. Otherwise, my second option, what I normally use, is my Katie's pie. So I'm just gonna go back to here. So I'm just gonna open it. And over here, I'm just gonna go to the section of keywords. Over here, I'm just gonna add my keyword and I'm gonna click in search. Here, I'm just gonna go to the section of books and I'm gonna click in pull results A to C. And we can see all of the keywords that we have. And this is our traffic light of competition. So you can go and then just grab the ones that are on green or even in yellow works very well. If you want to export them to have them in a file, it's more easy for copy and paste them over here. And once you finish your keywords, we can go and select the publication date. I'm just gonna keep it in publication date and release date are the same. And the release date, also I'm gonna keep it on release my book for sale now. And I'm just gonna click in save and continue. Now we can move on to get an ISBN. So you're just gonna click in assign and it's gonna assign it for you. It's gonna be completely free. So you just have to do it. Then we can go and select the printing options. For this, I'm just gonna keep it in black and white with white paper. For my trim size, I just have to go and choose the one that I use for Canva. So in this case, I use this one six times nine but in case that you select another one you can just click over here and then just choose the one that you use and i make it with no bleed so i'm just gonna keep it no bleed and then over here you can choose between this or this so i'm just gonna keep it on glossy because i feel that it's more shiny and i like it more then you have to go and upload your manuscript so you just have to click here and upload your manuscript and the same goes for your book cover you have to click and upload a cover that you already have and you just upload your cover in this section for the AI generate content, we didn't use any AI, so I'm just gonna keep it on no. And then we can click in launch preview. So over here, I can see all the parts together of my journal. I have here my cover book and in this side, I have my back page. As you can see, Amazon is adding my code. And if you don't know how to create this cover, you can check my video on how to create a cover for Amazon KDP. And if you don't see any mistake in this section, you're perfect to go. So here we have my cover and my back page. And if we click over here, we can see the inside of my journal, which look incredible. It looks very nice. I really like it. So we can see that all the pages match very well and the margins are perfect. So I'm just gonna click in approve. Once I already approve, it's gonna show me my printing expenses. So it's gonna be $2.68. And I'm just gonna click in save and continue. For the territories, I'm just gonna keep it on all territories. For the primary marketplace, I'm just gonna keep it on amazon.com. And then over here, it's time for us to choose our pricing. You can just go and follow the average price that Katie's Pie gave us, so $14. Or you can even make it lower and once you start to get some reviews, you can go and increase it. But this will depend on your price strategy. So I can go and just keep it in $13. And as you can see, my royalty is going to be $5 for each sale. And over here, we can see that it can take up to 72 hours till our journal is available for purchase on Amazon. And if you want to request a proof of this book, you can do it by clicking over here and you will only pay the printing expenses, which is $2.68. And now congratulations, you just have uploaded your journal into Amazon KDP. And the only thing remaining is for your journal to get approved. If you want to learn how to create coloring books to sell on Amazon KDP and start to generate great income, you can watch my video on how to create coloring books for Amazon KDP. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Have a great day.